For question number 6, we are going to figure out which of the following graphs represents all 4 of x so that negative 2 times x is less than 6 and x minus 2 is less than 0. As we can see, we have two inequalities. And let me just label this one to be the first one and then the x minus 2 to be less than 0. That's the second one. And notice that we have a keyword here, the word and. This and tells us that we are going to look for the overlapping region between the graph of the first inequality and the graph of the second inequality. And with that being said, let me show you how can we get the graph for the first inequality right here. So I will do the work right here. We have negative 2 times x is less than 6. Our first job is to get x by itself. Here we have negative 2 times x. So what do we need to do right here? We are going to divide both sides by negative 2. That's how we can cancel the negative 2. So that we see that the negative 2 right here will cancel with this negative 2. This way, the x will be by itself. And that's worked out this number here. What's 6 divided by negative 2? The answer for that will be negative 3. All right. And then this is also another important point. Since we divide both sides by a negative number, whenever we divide, we'll multiply both sides by a negative number in an inequality. We are going to take the original inequality and then we are going to switch that. So instead of a less than, we are going to end up with a greater than symbol. So the answer for the first inequality, we have x is greater than negative 3. And now, let's take a look of how does the graph of this inequality look like. I will draw a number line right here. And then we are going to indicate the 0 to be in the middle. And then since here we have the number negative 3, so I'm going to put down negative 3 right here, somewhere toward the left of the number 0. I don't need to draw these lines. doesn't really matter. All right? And now let's refer back to the inequality right here. This is a bigger than symbol. So that means we are just going to use an open circle. If sometimes you see like a greater than and then the equal to down here, then you have to use a solid circle. And sometimes you may also see people use like a open parentheses like this. But then in this case, as you have uh, in the answer choices, everything right here is open circles. So that's why we will just use the open circle. All right, here we have x is bigger than negative 3. So we are going to color this toward the right. Whenever we have a bigger than, we go to the right. Therefore, this will be the graph for this inequality. And once again, let me review it real quick. Whenever we divide both sides by a negative number in an inequality, we need to switch the original inequality symbol. Okay, and now let's do the second one right here. And I'm going to line up with the graph, so that's how we can look at the overlap. So number two, the other one here we have is x minus 2 is less than 0. Okay, and then as usual, we are going to get x by itself. Here we have x minus 2, so we are going to add 2 on both sides. And what do we get? So here, we will just get x by itself. And then the negative 2 plus 2, they cancel each other out. And then that's worked on number 0 plus 2 is 2. But then, as we have right here, we just add a 2 on both sides. So we maintain the same inequality symbol. So we have x less than 2 to be the result for the second inequality. And then let's look at the graph of this. So I will draw the number line right here. I will indicate the 0 to be in the middle. As you can see, I'm lining up everything okay, precisely okay, to, my, to the best of my ability. Here we have the number 2. It's positive 2. So I'm going to indicate that 2 to be somewhere toward the right of 0. That just is right here. And we have the symbol less than. There's no little line down here. So once again, we are going to use an open circle at the number 2. And this is a less than, so I'm going to start with 2 and go to the left. So this region right here will be the inequality x less than 2. All right, we are almost done. We are not done yet because this is a combination of two inequalities. And then the combination is using the word and. So we are going to look for the overlap. So we are going to look at 
what's the common region between this graph and that graph. So what we can do, we can just you know, just draw like line up, you know, just like trace this down like this. So as we have, we can just kind of indicate the final result to be on the top of this. We have the open circle here at the negative three. So let me label this is negative three. And then this point here is the number two and an open circle. And then we want everything to be in the middle. So this is pretty much where the answer region is, the solution region. All right, the moment of truth. Which of the answer choices is the same as this? Um, unfortunately, they didn't like they didn't have the numbers labeled for us. So we are going to see that's the choice D actually, because you see this is zero, and if we count one, two, three, that's negative three here, and then from zero, one, two, we have the two here. So this is the same as the answer region that we have right here. Therefore, the answer is answer choice D. I'm just going to lay, I'm just going to box the the letter. I'm not going to box the whole things, but anyways. This is it.